Are you slowing down? What is going on? What is happening? You are on the freeway. I don't want no flimsy plate on Thanksgiving, okay? I need my plate to be sturdy because I'm 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 eating. I mean, this Thanksgiving, I, I'm I'm eating everything that I've been. I only eat once or twice a year, and I need my plate to hold up during the process. I ain't got time for no little flimsy plate. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, love bugs. It is Tuesday, November twenty third. And we are on our way to, not Pine Bluff, but outside of Pine Bluff for work. And I thought I'd go ahead and get the vlog started. So, are you ready to get into it? I know I am. Let's discuss. Just hanging out with So guys, how is everybody doing? I hope this finds you happy, healthy, and blessed. You and yours, that is. Um, if it's your first time to the channel, welcome. Glad to have you. If it's not your first time, welcome back. How have you been? At any rate, I'm glad that you decided to hang out with me on today. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't take that for granted because you've got so many options on YouTube. So I'm thankful that you decided to pick me. But yeah, as I was saying, we are on our way to work. Um, we're working in White Hall, which is right outside of Pine Bluff. Um, and I've actually had an early start this morning. I went to the grocery store because last night when I was trying to fall asleep, I don't know why I do this to myself, but my mind starts thinking about all this stuff that I didn't do or whatever. And I remembered that I forgot to get um, vanilla wafers for my banana pudding. I knew I was gonna wait on my bananas because I didn't want my bananas to um, go bad. Because I like my bananas to be, I don't want to mushy when I do my banana pudding. And so, um, but I was more, cause, and I figured they'd have bananas, um, but I wasn't sure about the vanilla wafers because you know, they keep talking about this food shortage that we're having. So, um, I was tossing and turning. I couldn't really sleep because I was like, oh my goodness, the one thing that my family Okay, I got over so you could pass me and you didn't, so you just gonna wait, you're gonna be behind me for a minute, sir. Um, so the one thing that my family insists on me making at every formal meal, they would even try it at a finger food meal, but I'm, I'm not doing that. But they love my banana pudding. So, okay, truck. So, um, um, I had to get those vanilla wafers, so I got the vanilla wafers, and um, I went ahead and got the bananas too because they had some that they had just, they actually were in the box. Me and another lady were going through the box getting them out, and so they should be. Are you slowing down? What is going on? What is happening? You are on the freeway. should be good to go by tomorrow when I make the banana pudding. No, Thursday, because I like to make it the morning of. So it should be good to go by Thursday, the banana should be. So I got that, but it was interesting being in the store this early because I was thinking, oh, there won't be anybody in there, but no, a lot of our seniors were in there. And as a matter of fact, the late, I was helping one of them get the right bananas because she had, was digging out of an organic box and she didn't want organic. She didn't realize that's what she does. So I was assisting her. But yeah, um, there were a lot of people in the store. And the shelves for the items I was looking for was not completely bare, but there there is some bearage going on. So I can only imagine, and I went ahead and got our Hawaiian rolls because um, we're not making homemade rolls. I did go ahead and get that. I think it should be good. My aunt told me I could just put them in the refrigerator if I was concerned about them not making it until Wednesday, but they were really soft, so I think it's going to be okay, but I went ahead and got that too. But, um, yeah, there were a lot of people in the store. I wasn't expecting that, and the shelves were a little bearish. They were. There were some things that are critical to what I would think would be Thanksgiving, um, 
just remembered I forgot something else. Cranberry sauce. Although I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be responsible for that. It's kind of like when you're hosting, let me ask you guys this. When you're hosting Thanksgiving at your house, um, generally the host is kind of responsible, I feel like, for a lot more items than the everyone else. Even though we just made assignments for food items in our family because our family is so huge. Um, it would just really be literally too much for one person to cook everything. So we made food assignments. But um, I feel like being the host, I should make sure that all those little bitty things that sometimes get forgotten, that I should make sure as the host that we have them. Like my nephews who are not gonna cook a thing, but they're responsible for paper goods. Well, uh, yeah, come on now. With these, that they in their twenties, I'm pretty sure they gonna go. I don't want no flimsy plate on Thanksgiving. Okay, I need my plate to be sturdy because I'm 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 eating. I mean, this Thanksgiving, I, I'm I'm eating everything that I've been. I only eat once or twice a year, and I need my plate to hold up during the process. I ain't got time for no little flimsy plate, so I might need to call my nephews and be like, now look now, dollar store is good, it, it, Dollar Tree plates is, or where, you know, that's good for you, you just your every day, but then we talking Thanksgiving, we need a little sturdier plate so it can hold up the, hold up to the pressure that it's going to be facing. So yeah, I'm thinking like plates and, you know, that I should have extra plates on hand, I should have extra cups on hand. Um, I already have extra napkins because y'all know I'm a napkin junkie. Um, silverware, like I should just feel like it's the whole set of cups. I should have all that stuff on hand. But some people are like, no, if it's already been assigned, then what are you buying that for? I don't know. That's just me. What, are, what do you guys think? Like, I need to make sure I know which exit I need to get off on because, you know, it don't take, I get lost in the city definitely can get lost okay I got 30 miles get lost on the road so anyway um, yeah that's what I was thinking about with Thanksgiving since I'm hosting that I need to just have all those little extra things which I, I, I already ordered I had to order to go plates the little you know you know, with the cover, flip lid, whatever. I ordered those from Walmart online because Sam's was sold out. And I, I forgot about doing this type of stuff. I forgot it. Forgot the last minute. Um, I tried, was going to order it from Amazon. But them folks on Amazon, and I get it. You're going to price gouge a little bit because of the season. Um, you know, people are, it's a high demand item. So you're going to make you a few little extra coinage. But I'm not about to pay no $40 for no... Um, to go plates that I can usually get for about 15. I'm not doing it. We'll, we'll, we'll get us a plate and put some foil on it. How about that? That's what we're going to do. But Walmart had some at a right, the right price. Now I'm hoping that I read it right and it ain't going to be something that, that it won't hold nothing but a biscuit. I hope that's not the case. And I apologize guys for the light. We're going to see. But I am going to, I need to check to see when it's going to be delivered. I'm thinking it's supposed to be delivered today, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, so we've got a lot of stuff on our menu for Thanksgiving. Um, it's crazy that certain things you only eat during Thanksgiving. But I, I don't know, I guess it's just a traditional type thing. Um, but I often wonder... Excuse me. What other cultures eat for Thanksgiving? If if, if the, and if Thanksgiving is even a thing in other cultures, like if you are, if your culture um, does Thanksgiving differently or does not do Thanksgiving, or if you have something traditionally that's outside of turkey dressing, that type of thing, leave me a comment below. I would love to know um, what what you do for Thanksgiving or if you even have Thanksgiving. Okay, I'm trying to see if this is the popo behind me. Because you know I'm speaking. I don't think it is though. I don't know. They got they cars is different now. You gotta they getting they looking more and more regular. But but it, but if you really look they still kinda have that look if you if you really look at it. 
I don't know how to explain it, but they still have that look. So this lighting is horrible. So I'm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just get off right now. I don't, I'm not gonna end it because I do have an unboxing that I want to do. I was gonna do it on the vlog yesterday, but we got caught up in talking about Young Dolph and just rappers and murders and beefs and <sighs> it's crazy. I was reading something or watching something on YouTube yesterday evening where it um, they were saying that and again this is all alleged in, in the internet police. Now sometimes I got to give it to the internet police. They can piece together. You could be calling yourself having a whole secret relationship. Let you accidentally film a shoe a arm, a finger, uh, a shirt, a hat, anything of, the, of that person. They gonna figure out who your boo is. I got to give it to the internet detectives be on it. They be on it, they be figuring stuff out. But allegedly the internet the police have, I cannot figure out if this is the popo or not. Ugh. Let me get over so I can see till it gets closer. Uh, the internet police is reporting that, I think we talked about that, that they said someone inside his camp, but it's got more specific. Now they're saying allegedly it's a cousin of his. Um, and I didn't even really listen, listen to it to get all the facts and details because in my mind, I'm just like, how do the family deal with that type of stuff? I mean, it does happen all the time. Don't get me wrong. Family members do kill other family members. This is, this is nothing new. But this particular situation got me to thinking, like, how does the family deal with that? Like, how do you carry on as a family? How do you not be divided or split? Because I know people that this has happened with, and I know it caused a division, a split in the family. So, anyway... But I believe they're going to solve it. I do. Because the, it, when I tell you the internet police is on it, they didn't figure out a hat. They didn't went back and, and looked at music videos that were recorded in Memphis. Who, the, the house that they found, the getaway, one of the getaway cars in. Uh, they went back to see who all does that house belong to, who's associated with that house. Somebody was killed in front of the house. I mean, it's uh, after young Dolph being murdered somebody else was murdered a day or two later and then there's some report that there's been like 10 murders since he died that may or may not be related it, it is crazy and what's crazy is when I go to Memphis I don't see that side of Memphis and I feel bad for Memphis because there are a lot of great things there um, but it's overshadowed by like the first 48. I used to watch that faithfully. I don't even know if that still comes on. Because that used to be my show. That and Scared Straight. And I would make my son watch Scared Straight. Because I'd be like, this is what's going to happen to you if you get out here and you get to tripping. And you get to doing what you want to do. And not listening to me and becoming an unproductive citizen. This is where you're going to end up. So I used to make my son watch that. I think that's what that show was called. If whatever show it was, it came on after first 48. Or did it come on before? Anyway, Memphis got first 48. It was notorious for that. And then it's just always had kind of a little bad rap for violence. But maybe I don't go to the places where these things take place. Because when I go to Memphis, I've been on Bill Street. You know I go to the, all the malls. That That's just my thing. Um, or if I'm going to someone's home, they're, they... They don't live probably in the areas that these things take place in. But I guess it's just like any city. Every city's got a area that's considered um, unsafe or that you've got to be really careful when you're over there because, you know, anything could pop off. So, anyway, I do hate that for Memphis, that this, they're being overshadowed by this. Um, but this happens so many, every so many years. Um, I think about Tupac and Biggie, and then um, I'm sure there were this this there was the same thing happened before them. That's just the one that I can remember, where the ongoing beef and they both ended up murdered. Both very talented and murdered in their early 20s. 
if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and um, actually, I probably should go ahead. No, I'll do my no. I'm gonna close because <laughs> I'm thinking we're already at 16 minutes, and I'm trying. Yeah, I don't. Some of you like long vlogs, and some of you like short vlogs. Leave me a message and let me know. Do you like them long or do you like them short? Um, I like long vlogs personally. There's a couple people that I enjoy watching. Some people would be like, "Oh, I can't believe you watch them." Yes, I do. I do. I do. I do. Um, but I love them because they're. I love watching their vlogs. They're like usually over an hour long, an hour, fifteen minutes. Um, 45 minutes somewhere around there and it's it just it's just like me watching a tv show for me um so yeah so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and close it out um i do want to thank you guys again for reaching 100 subscribers i could not have done it without you there's still time for you to enter the drawing for the 100 that 100 subscriber giveaway um it's a 50 dollar um cash uh, prize and in order to register you need to go back down my list of vlogs and find the one that says commercial break it's a celebrate it says it's a celebrate on the um, thumbnail and then the title of the vlog is uh, commercial break you need to go listen to that watch that it's like two minutes I think two or three minutes it tells you exactly what you have to do in order to register and you have until December 1st to register. After December 1st, it's a no-go. It's, it's over with. It's done. So, anyway, before I get out of here, I do want... Well, I asked that you click the like button. I haven't asked you guys to do that in a while. Click the like button. By clicking the like button, it doesn't just encourage me, but it lets YouTube know that you enjoy the content and it will allow our blogs to be put in front of other YouTube watchers who enjoy similar content. I ask that you um, leave me a comment. I respond to my um, supporters. I do respond to your comments and I ask that you don't leave anything crazy. We, do, we don't do crazy over here. We're very nice, we're very polite to each other. So I ask that you leave me a comment. And then I ask that you um, subscribe. If you're not a part of the family, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and join the family by clicking the subscribe button and click the bell so that you're notified when new content has been loaded to the channel. Oh, this light is horrible. And then I ask that you share, 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 share the video so that we can continue to grow our channel we are now trying to reach 500 subscribers and I know that seems far-fetched and a lot for some of you but I still remember when I was trying to get 20 subscribers and I didn't think I'd be able to do it and I appreciate all of those who have helped me in the process uh, mama's mad ideas has been really really great to me really really sweet to me I appreciate her um, I want to also thank um, Eating with Philly Phil, but I think she changed her channel to Eating with Philly Phil and more or something like that. She was really great to me. Um, Rambling Kai was really great to me in encouraging me and, and just pushing me. I had a lot of encouragement to keep going on YouTube because there's a few times where I was like, yeah, maybe this ain't for me, but I enjoy doing it. I love it. I love hanging out with you guys. So... Anyway, I ask that you share, join the family, and help us get to 500 subscribers. And I already know I can count on my peeps because you got me to 100. So I know it's going to take place. So anyway, guys, before I get out of here, I do want to leave you with this. Remember, the plans for your life have already been designed. It's just up to you to trust the planner. Have a good one, everybody. Just hanging out with.